They lost the Battle of Captain Marvel, so I guess they're done. Oh, wait. Jordan Peele is their new target? <laughs> Good luck with that. There's a guy who wants to talk to you. Hey everybody, today's comment that got the most traction was this one from Gleam under the sock account Mock Earth. When you copy paste the exact same comment, we all know who you are. His full comment is in the description, but he asks, is it wrong to question the current model when it's been proven drastically wrong directly due to the failures of gravity? Well, it's not wrong to question the model at all. And the model to be questioned is the standard model of physics. It's constantly being questioned, and because it does not yet fit the standard model, gravity is not included in it. There is continuous experimentation going on in regards to gravity and the standard model in order to learn more, refine it, and make the model more accurate, which means it's being questioned all the time. Now, what Gleam uh, keeps trying to say is that since we don't have a complete understanding of gravity that works in all circumstances and all reference frames, then the globe model is wrong because there's gravity within it. He'll acknowledge that what we understand about gravity holds completely at the scale of the Earth, but since it doesn't hold up at the quantum level or at the scale of the observable universe, uh, it must be discarded, and with it, the Earth being a globe, which is a very flawed claim. Now, Gleam is one of those guys that claims to not be a flat earther, though all he does is argue in favor of it. But he is, in the purest sense, a globe denier. He knows that the flat earth fantasy has zero explanations for how things work, so all he does is bring up the constant research and refining of our understanding that is the very strength of science and try to claim it's a flaw. Anyway, I've answered him half a dozen times in the comment threads, so let this be the last time. If the Earth orbits the Sun, why do we see the same stars all year round? We do not. Now, depending on where you are on the Earth, if you're far north or south, you will see some of the same stars because it's like looking at the ceiling or the floor. But if you're near the equator or look toward the equator, those stars will change throughout the year. What proportion of online globe deniers is real, are real versus those who are in it for the money? Uh, I think people like Marble and Subarats and Pratt are true believers. People like Sargent and Steer and Oakley and his bunch are not necessarily true believers, but they are anti-establishment conspiracy people, and they're willing to argue anything that gives them a way of attacking the man. And they know people that will watch it, and they know that uh, every so often they'll get a positive hit with that tactic. Uh, other channels on YouTube, yes, I have one for family videos. I used to have one for animation, but I've integrated them all into here. Uh, Phuket ever admit defeat? No because I think he's unstable. How are Jeeves and Wooster doing? Uh, those are my cats. My cats are doing well, as are my dogs, Sam and Gypsy. Would I like the opportunity to play a Marvel character that trains the Avengers? Sure, but I'd rather be uh, an elder of the Jabari tribe in Wakanda, training those warriors. My favorite version of Spider-Man. I'm a classic Peter Parker fan though I have fondness for Miles Morales and Miguel O'Hara from Spider-Man 2099. Uh, my personal favorite era of Spider-Man was the Roger Stern, Ramita Jr. era, uh, and into the Tom DeFalco, uh, Ron Friends run. Those were great back then. So um, that's my Spider-Man. All right, everybody. Thanks to all the patrons you just saw scroll by there. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. Comment on this video and we will find out what tomorrow's topic will be. See you then. Bye. That's my job. That's what I do. I don't lose. I win. I win. Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by and congratulate me on last night's victory.